Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a quick look at the uh, Paradigm Architectural Control Process of the PACP right here. Um, so our PACP has this issue that uh, I've seen some others have where you go to the file operations. Can you see the screen of the camera? Yeah, so you go to file operations when you're trying to like download a new file on here. Um, when you go to load configuration, you take your USB stick and you put it in right here. I'm not sure it's going to do it right now, it may, but when you hit load from USB stick, it'll say searching. Okay, it didn't do it right now, but we'll try one more USB because I've had this problem happen before. We'll try the uh, second one. So we take the USB, you put it in, you go on to file operations, load configuration, load from USB, Okay, it didn't work. But basically, what happens is with our PACP in specific, sometimes the USB won't be recognized. Now, if the USB is not recognized, what ETC tells you to do is to take your, your tool right here and to restart the system. So to restart the system, there's a little reset key right there. You take the little pin and you stick it in there and it restarts. It'll say Paradigm, and it'll start rebooting the system. Now if we come out here, to one of our screens, you just give it a second, you'll see it'll start booting up on the screen. The lights will all flash and everything in the, the house. See it says ETC, it's going through the boot, uh, the boot screen, and then you'll see in a second it will boom, 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 it'll boot up. Yeah, so right there, all the lights just flipped off. All the breakers just shut off on the dimmer rack. Now it's reloading our file onto the system, and it comes back up. Now, if you kind of look through the, uh, the curtain right there with the camera, you'll see it's all dark. Now if I go on house on the screen right here and go back to house full, you'll see the lights will come back onto the house. So now let's, let's go back in here. And this is, this is another common issue we have, where you go back in the menu after you restart and you see that the touch wheel doesn't do anything. So you see I'm moving the wheel, nothing's happening on the screen. That's not what's supposed to happen. So the way to fix that, um, which is a pain, is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go activate our house out preset, which as you can see I can't do from here, so give me one second. So that way it's not screwing with the, uh, the dimmers or anything. The system's system okay. We're going to close this up for a second. We'll open up the, uh, the rack. And ETC technical service says that when you have this issue, you got to turn it off and then turn it back on for 30 seconds. And our breakers, it's, it's wired in with a dis strain system. So you come back here to this power, this main power. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me turn my flashlight on. Right here, this main power cable. If you look on the front, this is the um, the Paradigm, the station power module right here on the top. Now if we come around to the back here, all we do is yank this cable. And then we're going to give it about 30 seconds to restart it. You'll see on the front, it's all dark. Shut off. Um, all the screens now lost power, all the, the house stations lost power. You think it's been 30 seconds? Yes. Okay. We're going to come around to the back once again. We have this cable here. Plug it back in. You'll hear it click on. And then we can close this guy back up. And you'll see it'll do the same boot screen again. It goes to the boot menu, all that. So it's gonna reload everything. You're probably gonna hear the relays click on in the dimmer rack right here. 
Now you'll see it says offline for a second, there's an error light. Once you give it a minute, it'll come back to system okay. If we go check our screen outside, it should be back on. Yeah. The screen's back on the uh, normal menu. We can bring the house lights back on. And if we come back in here. Ow. You see, once again, if we go onto the menu here, the control wheel will work perfectly fine. And before that, fix our drive issue as well. Um, I didn't get to show you the drive issue in this, but before it would say drive not detected. So once we restarted it with the unplug in the back, plug it back in after 30 seconds, that fixed our drive issue and our um, scroll wheel issue, which is fantastic. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Cut the camera.